cover up what you do. <laughs> Good morning. Right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. Whichever time of day you're watching this. Just hi. <laughs> it's Sunday school with Auntie B. So this morning we're not meeting on a Sunday. We are actually meeting on Monday, on Monday the 28th of December. The reason for this is today we celebrate Holy Innocence Day. Now, Holy Innocence Day is not something that you, most persons, let me not say you, most persons are familiar with because Holy Innocence Day is smack between New Year's and Christmas Day. But it plays a very important role in our church's history. So the role that it plays, it talks about some little babies who died for Jesus. And to let us get into that, we take a visit to Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 18. So in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking where the child who has been born, the king of the Jews. For we observe his star, we observe his star that's rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Messiah was to be born. He told them in, the, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come our ruler, who is, a shep who is to shepherd my people Israel. So here we see, so just pause. So a while back we were talking about the hope candle, and we did meet this section of scripture all right and here we know the where jesus was going to be born and it's clearly stated here in bethlehem and we we've heard the christmas story and we've known we know that jesus was born in a little town called bethlehem now these wise men saw a star so this is where we hear about the christmas star. and this year um we actually we were actually able to see the Christmas star, well, most of us, um, because it was visible to us in Trinidad and Tobago and the Latin Americas. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me wood so that I may also go and pay him home. When they, had, when they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star and they, that they had seen at his rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. So at this point, Jesus was already born. All right. So this is why we always hear about the three wise men. But as I said um, on Christmas Day, there's no mention that there were three wise men. We just assume it was three wise men because three gifts were brought. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Remember that joy candle? <laughs> On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary and his, his mother. And they knelt down and, pay homage, and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and wood. Just to recap again, gold, because he is the king of all kings. Frankincense, because he is worthy to be worshipped. And myrrh because he was born to die for all of us. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own con country by another route. Now, this is where it gets important. Let me just stop share. The wise men did not return to tell King Herod that they had found baby Jesus. All right? And this was because King Herod did not technically want to worship a baby or want to release the powers. Because if this baby was to be the king of all kings and King Herod is a king, 
Who would want to give up that power? King Herod did not want to give up that power at all. So he said to them, go find him. I will come to worship him. And the angel of the Lord told the wise men, do not go back to Herod. And they didn't go. So some time has passed by now and let's see what's happening. So we call it the escape to Egypt. Now, after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up and took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what has been spoken by the Lord. Through the prophet, out of, Egypt, out of Egypt, I have called my son. Again, we also met this when we talked about the prophet candle. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated. And he sent, the, and sent, and, he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem, who were two years old and under, according to the time that he would have learned from the wise men. Then... Then was fulfilled what had been spoken to the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamenting, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. So here's where we remember the first martyrs of the church. Now martyr means someone who died for their feet. So in this, in, at this point, all the babies or young children who were under the age of two years old died because King Herod did not know exactly who were the parents. He didn't know who were the parents. He didn't know the exact street where Jesus was born. He didn't know the exact date Jesus was born. But because he asked the question, when did they first see the star, he could have guessed, he made a guesstimation. <laughs> that the baby would have been at least two years of age. So to cover all his bases, he made a decree to kill all the babies or all the toddlers and babies under the age of two years old. So here we remember these babies and we remember these toddlers who died because of Jesus. Because at this point, Jesus was no longer in Bethlehem. At this point, Joseph took him and, and Mary to Egypt. So these martyrs are remembered every year on the 28th of December. And each year, usually, had we been in church, had we been in normal church, we would have invited children from across the areas, across the Northern Tobago, to bring their toys that they would have gotten on Christmas Day to be blessed. Because in remembrance of the children who never got to play with toys, the children who never got to see past their second birthday. And this is why we remember Holy Innocence. And this is why it's very important in Sunday school to remember our Holy Innocence and the first martyrs of the church. So next time, around this time next year, Christmas, when we get back to normal church, or you can actually find out from your church if we have online Zoom services um, for Holy Innocence day to bless your toys and just to talk about and remember these children who would have died for jesus all right remember jesus is our lord and savior and yes we are happy that he was born and we are filled with joy we are filled with hope we are filled with peace we are filled with love but even in the midst of all of that we must remember those children who died so that jesus can live all right. And that's what Holy Innocence is about. So enjoy the rest of your days. Do find out if there are services for you specifically um, at the church, whether it's on Zoom, whether it's at the church, whether it is tomorrow. I know some persons are having their service tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, just find out and just learn a little bit more about Holy Innocence. So I'll see you all. Actually, I will see you all in January. So we resume again in January. Let me just get the dates. 
um, January 17th. So the 17th of January, 2021, God Spare Life. So I'll see you all be safe. Remember to wear your masks, follow all the guidelines of the Ministry of Education. Remind your grown-ups that for term two to open, everybody must, 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 must follow the directions and guidelines of the Ministry of Health. So I will see you all work hard in the new year, work smart during school and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.